Hey everyone, Wayne from Zenata here, and today I'm going to walk you through how to set up UTM tracking with Zoho Forms. So to get started, let's go ahead and dive into Zoho Forms. So go to forms.zoho.com. Uh, here we can see we already have a form created called Google Ads Lead Intake Form. Let's go ahead and edit this. And all I've done here so far is pre-populated some fields that we might want to capture on a lead form. Um, I even threw in a little bonus that I wanted to share with everyone. So this hidden field called lead source, uh, oftentimes what will happen with UTM, or not oftentimes, but sometimes, uh, let's say you click on an ad and you're interested in the call to action page, the product, everything looks good, but you kind of want to explore the site a little to know more about you know, who you're about to give your information to. And then let's say, okay, everything looks great. And you go back to that page. Well, oftentimes when you leave the page and come back, the UTM tracking isn't there anymore. So this kind of adds like an extra layer um, to ensure you get the, the proper lead source at least um, of where it came from. So you could even be more specific if you have multiple landing pages that this was from like, you know, campaign A or campaign B, et cetera. So to get started though with the UTM tracking, let's go ahead and turn it on. So first we're going to go to share and then track entries. And then here we'll see the UTM tracking and to turn it on, let's go ahead and get tracking code. Actually, let me go back. This is already turned on. So it'll look like this when you first get here and we'll hit start tracking, proceed, and then get tracking code. Uh, this tracking code, um, if you're not too familiar with HTML or editing your website, uh, it's best to give this to your webmaster. Uh, but essentially, this will go in your footer right before the end of the body tag. So you'd copy this code here, either share it in a notepad via email to your web developer, or go ahead and insert this yourself. Um, so once this is turned on, the next thing we'll need to do in order to integrate this is we're going to have to set up these parameters inside the CRM. So I went ahead and I already have the leads module pulled up here. And I went ahead and created a new section called UTM information. And I went ahead and inserted the five UTM uh, tracking fields. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out when you set this up is uh, depending on how your CRM is set up, oftentimes um, these properties will not create this for the other uh, modules. So you'll want to go in here as you create these single lines for each one of these, you'll want to go ahead and edit properties and then go ahead and check all of these so they're mapped across. And then after this is done too, one extra step you want, you see I put a section here called UTM information. When you create those, all of these fields right here are just going to drop in randomly on the form. So you want to go to each one of those modules and create a new section called UTM information so the data is nice and clean. Uh, we'll go ahead and save and close this. And now when we go back to our form, we can go to integrations here. And we'll go ahead and turn on upsert record and GCLID. And you'll want to embed this as well. Um, next, we'll go ahead and start mapping those fields. So we have UT Medium. And once you have this properly set up, these won't appear until you actually go ahead and turn on the share. UTM content. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and integrate. Nope, oh, I almost forgot one more. We snuck in lead source and source. And that was that hidden field I mentioned earlier. Now we go ahead and integrate. And now um, you'll also, on your website, you'll want to embed 
whether you're using Google Analytics or Google Tag Manager, um, those codes. And there is an extra step when you create your campaigns, but that's a different tutorial. But as long as you have uh, your tracking set up for the UTM parameters within your ads, now you'll get a, a question mark at the end when they submit a form like UTM, you know, term equals, et cetera, et cetera. That will all capture into the leads module here inside of the CRM. So we've got a test lead here. And if, say, Drew was to fill out this form, all of these fields would be populated with like the key phrase, the campaign, the medium, the source, and the content, et cetera. Um, so thank you so much for watching. We hope you found this video useful. Uh, if you have any questions about this video, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Uh, be sure to hit that like and subs subscribe button. And for more resources like this, uh, stay up to date with our YouTube channel or also visit sonata.com forward slash resources. Thanks again for watching.